Hey guys, it's Melanie. Let's do a <laughs> shot my stash. <laughs> so um, it has actually been quite some time since I have switched my makeup around. Um, there are a few things that are going to be holdovers from the last time that I did this just because this is obviously a very specific time of year and I do have some favorites this time of year. So they just kind of live in my everyday makeup drawer. If you are new to my channel, I have done this particular series for a number of years. I essentially go through my Alex 9 drawer, which is over here, and I move some makeup over to this Alex 5 drawer <laughs> to act as my everyday makeup. Um, it just sort of helps to keep me organized and it helps me um, get ready in a much more efficient manner in the mornings. I only have a few things to choose from here, so I'm not spending, you know, five, 10 minutes going through all of these drawers, all of these nine drawers over here to my left, um, trying to find something that I think will work for me that particular day. So this is just all about efficiency for me. Um, I wake up pretty early and I don't have a ton of time to dork around, so this helps. Um, I'm not gonna like, talk about every single thing necessarily or, or or open every container but I'll try to link some of my like all-time favorites or things that I highly recommend down below in the description box um I do get a lot of questions about you know my favorite foundation what I use on my eyebrows and you know things that I always get questions about or things that I highly recommend I will put in the description box everything else I'm sorry, you're gonna have to hunt it down yourself. <laughs> There's just too much stuff to list. So let's start with the lip products, which is what we have in front of you here. So I'm just gonna move you guys a little bit closer. Um, and my floor is really creaky behind me here, so that noise that you're hearing is the floor. Um, I do have two of my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I've just kept out because I'm just enjoying them using them. I'm enjoying using them a lot. So I have Pillow Talk and Very Victoria. I have a couple of Laura Mercier lipsticks back here in the shade Lychee Bar Parfait and then Spice Rose. These are really nice fall shades here. Um, uh, in terms of like other lipsticks, I do have a Too Faced lipstick here in Nude Beach. And I got this out because I think that I might be taking this with me to New York. Um, my husband and I are going on a trip and um, I kind of want a red <laughs> to be able to wear to like a fancy dinner. I don't know. I don't know where we're going to eat, but I just thought it might be kind of fun. So this is Rebel Heart from Too Faced, actually. I don't know if this was a part of their permanent collection. I don't even know if these lipsticks are available anymore. They may not. Um, I have two Hourglass Lip Stylos in Futurist and Nude Number no. 6. Um, I have some Marc Jacobs glosses in here. I have Skin Deep and Sugar Sugar, I believe. Right? Yep. Wait. Skin Deep, yep, and Sugar Sugar. Sorry. <laughs> I do still have my beloved Buxom Dolly out because it is the season for that. Um, I also have Claire, which is this smaller size here. Um, this Hourglass and Provoke. This lip gloss is fabulous. Um, there's a Fenty Gloss Balm and Fussy, a Marc Jacobs lipstick in Slow Burn. So that's just a sampling of the various lip products. And then next, let's go through... Actually, here, let's start down here. So these are my eyeshadows how awkward can I make this for you guys there we go it's pretty good angle um there is uh I I'm hauling some things because of the sales that are happening right now so I have another eyeshadow palette that is going to be going in here so I did leave room for that um You'll see that in a haul probably either later on this week or early next week. Um, but what I have pulled out so far is my Viseart Grand Pro 1. This just permanently lives in my eyeshadow drawer. I just, I use that a lot. Um, these are my other Viseart shadows, which I also really enjoy. And then I also have... Um, some Sydney Grace shadows in here as well. So this palette is something that I reach for quite frequently, so I'm just gonna keep that in here. I have Anastasia Soft Glam, which most of you know what that looks like. I haven't used it in a while, so, and I'm gonna sneeze. Okay, it's gonna pass. 
Sorry. <laughs> Good and tight, right? <laughs> Sorry, I don't edit my videos, so that's totally staying in. All right, this is a limited edition eyeshadow palette from Bare Minerals. Uh, you guys can't get this, but I still really like this, so I busted it out. Um, and I think this is now finally discontinued from what I can tell. It's the Laura Mercier Pro Artist Palette for Eyes. I can't find this anymore on the Sephora website, so bummer. Um, if you have this in your collection, cherish it. It's, it's honestly one of my favorites. Okay, let's take a look at this top drawer here. So these are um, mostly just face products here. <laughs> There are some eyeshadows over here and obviously my mascara, so we'll talk about that stuff. But let's start over here. Um, I do have my beloved Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. This is my SPF, my moisturizer, and my primer, essentially. I do have one other primer in here. It is the Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Factor from Storavectin. This is wonderful. If you're looking for a primer that works really well with oily skin, this one is definitely that for me. Um, my beloved Color Science Total Eye SPF 35. This goes under my eyes every single day. I'm big on SPF, guys. Um, one thing I am going to take out while I'm here is I'm not reaching for this as much right now. This is the uh, Ren Clean Screen Mineral SPF 30. Um, I think, let's see, don't tell me this expires. Okay, this, I still have some time with it. It expires a couple years from now, so I'm going to put this one away for the time being. But um, I do have the Anastasia eye primer in here, and then I also have a, another, this is uh, considered a lid and under eye brightening primer from Strabectin. I just use this on my lids, and it works really well. Um, so I sometimes I'll alternate between these two, but um, honestly, my stronger preference is the Anastasia. It just grips the shadows really, really well. All right, let's go over here and talk about some of these things. These are just various foundations and powders. So I am a powder foundation girl because I'm so oily. My go-to typically is the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Um, you can still find her products on her website and there are some things available on QVC. This is like a super size that was available at QVC. Um, this is not regularly available. I wish it was because I would just buy a boatload of these, but um, that is not the case. Um, I do have a Well People powder foundation in here. I did, recently did a review of this. I think this is good. It is by no means a replacement of my Balance and Brighten, but it's a nice finishing powder. I love this powder. This is actually a repurchase for me. This is the Hourglass Veil Brightening Powder. Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I'm making things up. So anyway, um, that's wonderful. Highly recommend it. And um, yeah, so right now for contour, I'm mostly using this Marc Jacobs Mirage Filter, um, but I think this is discontinued also. I want to say you can still get it in a few places, maybe mm, Neiman Marcus. I'll try to see if I can link it down below, but I'm bummed this is going away because I love it. Um, I do have the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light, which is good for this time of year as well. Um, I've got some Tarte blushes in here. This one's Party. This one is Seduce. This one is Exposed. These are holdovers from last month. And sorry that my hands are so dry. Um, Buxom Wanderlust Blush in Dolly. Again, very appropriate this time of year. I do have a Becca Mineral Blush in here in Sweet Pea. I think this one's discontinued now, but it's kind of a good color for this time of year. It's like a darker brick rose type shade. It's very pretty. My highlighter is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffused Light, which is lovely. Um, Jouer Coquette Blush Duo, also nice right now. This is a holdover from last month. Actually, both of these. These are Laura Geller Baked Blushes in Cherry Truffle and Romantic Rose. There, um, These are some blushes from Butter London in here. And then I also pulled out this uh, palette from Lorac. This has some nice neutral um, blushes and even some highlighters in here as well. So I haven't used it in a while. Figured I'd bust it out. Um, my go-to brow powders. <laughs> excuse me um this is 
uh, from Tarte. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Powder in the shade Gray. So if you're wondering, <laughs> uh, my brows are micro shaded. I'm going to get them touched up on Monday, this next coming Monday. Um, but uh, I do still, because I put SPF over my brows, I need to just run a little bit of powder over top of them and this is the powder that I use and sometimes if I want really bold brows I will also use this hourglass um, this is their brow sculpting pencil in the shade arch right or ash what's the name of the shade I think the name of the shade is is ash yeah sorry it's the arch brow sculpting pencil this is really good too so anyway, that's what I typically use on my brows. I use this as an eyeliner instead of a brow powder because it didn't work for me as a brow powder. This is Granite from Anastasia. It's one of their brow duos. Works great for that purpose. So, all right, here's just some singles. There are three NARS singles in here, Himalaya, um, Dayon, and Rigel. These are the dual intensity eyeshadows. I don't even know if they still have these available. It's been a while since I've purchased from NARS. They are no longer cruelty free. So, um, but I do still have these in my collection. So I'm still using that stuff. Uh, two Catrice eyeshadows that I actually bought in Germany when I was there a couple years ago. Um, I don't know if you can get these. One of them is I like to mob it. And then the other is my first copperware party. So they're basically just and then there is a Wander Beauty liquid eyeshadow, which is nice. Uh, my current mascara selection, actually now that I'm looking at this, um, this one is old, so I need to put that in my empties. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, the Legendary Lashes Volume 2, just did a Mascara Monday on this. It's gorgeous. Ugh, love it. Um, the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara, which is also great. I think this one actually, I think this one's done too. It's a Clinique Mascara. This was a free gift, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take this out because I've used this for a while. I think that came with like an Ulta order. And this is the Too Faced, um, what's this one called? Oh, Yam Girl, that one. Um, so, yeah, those are my current mascaras. But three is plenty, so <laughs> there we go. And that's it. That's what I currently have in here for the time being. Um, obviously, there's some new things coming in. I will incorporate those, and you'll see them in my weekly favorites videos. Um, but yeah, so nothing terribly exciting, but good everyday basic makeup that makes it fast for me to get ready and look a little bit more polished and put together. So there you have it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today. And I will see you tomorrow.